A show of unity between Germany and Ukraine. Things had become strained after Berlin was criticised for sending mixed messages about Russia's aggression. No ambiguity here, though. The Chancellor making clear Moscow must step back. I am making it clear once again here in Kiev that Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity are non-negotiable for Germany. But any ideas Ukraine would give up aspirations to join NATO, as had apparently been floated by the country's ambassador to the UK, was scotched by President Zelensky. Ukraine's desire to join the European Union to strengthen its borders for future alliance and our ambitions, you are very well aware of it. It is the country's wish. Also, there is a war in the East. We understand, and we would like NATO membership, which would be a guarantee of our security. With Ukraine maintaining its red lines then, no one knows how this will end. But NATO is reinforcing its Eastern European members. This consignment of military hardware arriving in Lithuania. This crisis is clearly entering a critical phase as the diplomacy gains greater urgency. But it's hard at the moment to see how a breakthrough will come when all of the issues that led to this confrontation in the first place remain unchanged. And all the time, ordinary Ukrainians can only wait nervously, hoping that war will not come. Warnings of an imminent Russian attack are just as loud. The Kremlin has the firepower in place now, but says these operations in Belarus on Ukraine's border are just military exercises. Punish Putin, not Ukraine. Trying to decipher Vladimir Putin's intentions has become a guessing game in Ukraine. But these protesters say the world needs to know it's one that could have deadly consequences. The West is under attack. It's not Russian aggression against Ukraine. It's against Western civilization. So either we win together or then everybody will be paid a big price. But Prime Minister Boris Johnson warned Europe it must end its addiction to Russian gas if it's to have any leverage over Moscow. We need to find alternative sources of energy and we need to get ready to impose some very, very severe economic consequences on, on Russia. There could, though, be a glint of hope. Russia's Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, meeting with the Russian leader, stated that the diplomacy is far from exhausted. But it's hard to see how the West can force the Kremlin to de-escalate without caving in to some of its key demands. And people here know what that might mean the end of the dream of a European future. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Kiev.